All right, so now we're going to extract the data for our app. So we're gonna extract data from fightmetric.com. And as you can see, we've got a table of fighter names. And then we've also got a pages of letters for their last names. So the first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna iterate pages. So we're gonna iterate through these letters. So we're gonna click A, click B, and you can see that CloudScrape recognizes that these are links. And we're gonna add suggestions. Then we're gonna come down and loop through elements. And then we're gonna step forward. Now what we need to do is actually click into the letter. So we're gonna do a click element. Now we're gonna let, let this load. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click anywhere in the table because we're going to use uh, CloudScrape's extract table. We're going to scroll down and click extract table. Now CloudScrape recognizes the header values, so we don't even have to change those. But on the height and weight, that has a period, so we do want to remove that. So we're going to remove that. Scroll down and click OK. Now CloudScrape is building our robot. And let's go ahead and take a look at the results. And as you can see, we're getting results, but there's HTML in some of the results. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the steps. And we're actually going to click on the action and open up the options. So we're going to click Edit. Scroll down. And on this box, we've got a lot of different options. But we're going to use Remove HTML. So we're going to come down, do the same thing for these elements. Remove HTML. Again, for nickname. And for height. And as you can see, uh, CloudScrape gives you a lot of different options for rounding, match and replace. And there's a lot more than just remove HTML. So I really encourage you to take a look at the other options that it, it, it offers. So come down, remove HTML. Let's take a look at the results and see how it's running. So we're going to restart our robot. I'm going to let this load. And now we're going to press play. And hopefully we have no HTML in these values. And as you can see, perfect. First name Tom, Aaron, no HTML, 155 pounds. Perfect. So we're going to let this run a little bit to make sure it's working. And I'm confident it's working, so we're going to stop it. We're going to save our robot. And now what we're going to do is hit close, come back to projects, and we're going to create a new run. So click new run. We're just going to call it run. And now we're going to open the options. And just to speed it up a little bit, we're going to increase the simultaneous executions. And then we're going to save it. Come to the executions panel and actually execute. So let's take a look at the data and see if we can get some uh, real-time scrape data. So we're going to reload results. So still nothing. It's still doing its thing. Reload. Okay, we're starting to get some fighters. So we have two there. Now we have 14. And as you can see, every time we hit reload, it's, it's adding more fighters. And we've got all those columns that we defined earlier with the table. Now I have 75 fighters. And we're gonna scroll down, take a look at all these, all this awesome data. And in our app, we're actually going to be able to hit the API and use this data for in our Angular app. So that is it for this, this episode. Now we're going, to, in the next one, we're going to uh, take a look at the API a little bit and learn how to integrate it.